Hey everybody, I'm in front of Prunus Mume, the Japanese flowering apricot. Now this is admittedly not the best time of year for me to be showing you Prunus Mume because it's not exactly its time to shine. This is a smaller tree uh, that is very nice in the small landscape. Well, why do you plant it? It blooms extremely early for us uh, in the home landscape, maybe even January in some years, February in most years comes alive with pink or white flowers, even double pink flowers. There's a lot of different cultivars. Uh, beautiful bark for winter interest as well. And so uh, this plant really shines uh, in the fall, late fall, after it loses its leaves, when you're looking at beautiful bark until it comes alive with beautiful blooms in the spring. So Prunus mume, the Japanese flowering apricot, sometimes just called the Japanese apricot, it's actually uh, primarily native to southern China. It's in the rosaceae family, hardy from zone six through nine, can get 15 to 20 foot high, spreading out 15 to 20 foot wide. If you notice here, it's got serrated edges to the leaves. The leaves are alternately arranged. A lot of times you'll see kind of a red blush on the petiole of this leaf. Very typical rosaceous or prunus leaf here. Uh, we've got it in front of the bark, which uh, starts to exfoliate and furrow, giving nice cinnamon undertones underneath the bark. Here's a landscape tip. Excellent for its early flowering nature place near walkways or decks or patios as a specimen.